Hey friends, so I'm still dealing with some suspense questions here. It is still alpha, sort of, so I can deal with some of these um, issues. Specifically, what I'm um, struggling with right now is concurrent uh, mode, because I'm dealing with the max duration here. So the situation I've got here now is um, I wanted to add React Lazy, so I already had a Suspense and React Cache Alpha for uh, loading data. I wanted to add Re React Lazy for loading um, assets. So if I go slow and we refresh here, it will just do, well, we'll do all of them. So we're loading our JavaScript and whatnot. And once that's loaded, then we'll get a, a loading. So we load the initial bundle. Then we say loading application uh, because now we're getting this chunk right here. We're loading that chunk, so we are loading the application. And then when I navigate over here, I'm going to be loading the application again um, to load that page's resources. And then I'll be loading that uh, the resources or, or the data for that user. So I've got uh, two things going on here all at the same time. And what's happening here is if I refreshed or actually here let's go back online so if i refresh here it gets loading data for kent c dots immediately which is desirable but if i go whoops try another and go here from the home page um, here it should show the little loading indicator right here um, for two seconds that's what i like my default that i'm looking for so it should show it for two seconds and then show the, the page loading uh, for um, loading data for M. Zabriskie. Um, and what it does actually is it shows this for 300 milliseconds and then it immediately goes to that loading state. So um, yeah, let's see how this is all happening here. So we've got this singleton state. You can look at my previous video to see why I'm doing the singleton state thing. Also had a history option, but anyway, um, here I'm setting that max duration to 2,000. We can verify that uh, value is uh, correct at the time this is rendered. We'll log that out. Um, so the max duration here is uh, 2,000 um, set from here, but then I've got um, higher up in the tree. I've got this max duration for 300, and it looks like the higher up is uh, the one that is causing everything to render and we're not um, waiting to or, or like so this suspense isn't preventing a higher suspense from actually running its fallback um, which is undesirable um, and not only that but it's not uh, so the max duration higher up is what's causing the fallback to be rendered but it's not this fallback that's being rendered it's actually going to be the fallback that's closer. So I'm getting the max duration from this suspense, but the fallback from this one. And what I really want is the max duration and fallback from the one that's closest to where the suspense um, interaction is happening, which is from this user component. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so we'll just run through that again. It, um, immediately, if I refresh this page, I want it to show right away. Um, if I'm coming in from the home page, then I want it to wait on this page for two seconds. You see that, um, oh, I, I got rid of that console log here. Let's try that again. So if I refresh, that is gonna be zero seconds. If I can coming in from another page, um, then that's gonna be two seconds, um, but it's not waiting for those two seconds. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. I'm Clearly I'm misunderstanding something about suspense and um, it makes sense because it's still an alpha. I am, I should show this, I am um, rendering with create root, so um, um, concurrent mode is enabled um, for here, so the max duration should work. It's just working in a way that I didn't expect. Maybe it's a bug, and maybe it's just the way, or, or what I'm expecting is wrong. Um, but what I would expect is the closest suspense component is the one where the max duration matters and the fallback matters. And what I'm getting is I'm getting the fallback for the one that's closer, but the max duration for the top level suspense component, which is kind of confusing. So help is appreciated as always. Thank you.